What do you know about William that we don't know? I'll, I'll tell you the story of the VR. Those of you who are in New York heard this story of completion, I think, in Baltimore, too. And I saw the hand back there. We'll get to you also. We're not ignoring uh, this, uh, when we were doing the show about the boy in the tunnels that got lost, and each of us had a little soliloquy to ourselves, we talked about labyrinths, yeah. Uh, Armin and I particularly started talking about our, our pre-life, our, our life before, how we came to be there, creating the, the base of the character from which we evolved, not particularly with the origin or anybody's help, because they weren't around saying anything like that. <laughs> so we had plenty of time to think it up on our own. This is William's story, which I've always promised to write, never have. Yeah, perhaps will one day soon, but uh, forgive me for those who've heard it before. Uh, he was born to a large Mennonite family in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. Yay. William Carl Wyshynski. had a German <laughs> name, told me what he really was, on Murphy Brown. He was the, uh, the oldest of about 14 children, and because of the farm life, found himself in charge of the children a great deal of the time. And the main thing that he needed to do while being in charge of them was to cook and to feed all of them, to see that all the mouths were fed. So he got used to cooking in large batches on a simple scale to keep people nourished at a very, very early age and to accept a good deal of responsibility and to become very protective of the people that he cared about and lived among. When he got into high school, he got into photography through the school paper because he'd been somewhat shy growing up and hadn't had a lot of opportunity to participate in social things in school as other children would be. And he found that he had an affinity with the camera and that it took him quite a long ways and in fact took him out of a small town community in the Shenandoah Valley and into Washington, D.C., where he began working his way up as a cameraman until he got to a show called <laughs> FYI and did very well until he fell in love with a very beautiful reporter for the journalist named Christian Brown, who never returned his favorites as it turned out, no matter how much he pursued her, no matter how much he tried to pursue her, she never would pay him the attention he felt was due. And because of this, it started taking a more dramatic note, and now the comedic, he turned to the bottle, and he started drinking and drowning his sorrows and alcohol, as she had done earlier in her life. And it cast him out of that social circle of Ralph Y.I. as a legitimate cameraman in Washington, and he became a bum, and, and seedy and disheveled looking, and wandered along the tracks all the way up to Manhattan, to New York. <laughs> Well, he was in New York. Uh, he was down at the Bowery, bumming around, and to find something to eat in the evenings and to keep him freezing to death, he started going into the Bowery missions down the Lower East Side. And he discovered that he had a little bit of taste left for some responsibility still, and trying to pull himself up and kick the bottle. So he started cooking for the missions and ladling out the soup and uh, taking care of the people like himself that came in and were looking for her up a way out. And he got a pretty good reputation for that. He got to where he kind of enjoyed it and found it somewhat of a niche, but he still really wasn't comfortable in the real world. And he noticed after a while a mysterious red-haired woman that would come up and pick up large bundles of children's tossed off clothing and disappear with them. He didn't know where she went. He became very curious who she was and where she came from. So one day after he finished the chores of cooking, he cornered her over in a corner and learned that her name was Mary. And he, he asked her what she was doing with all those clothes, and all of her answers were terribly evasive. So he got to know her a bit as the weeks went by, and he told her a bit of his story and how out of place he felt. And she suggested he take a little trip with her. So he went down below through the most peculiar tunnel situation and met a feisty old man with a cane <laughs> whose father had been a baker. And he started talking to him, and he said, well, we have a position here for a cook, but I'm not sure you're the man for the job. Well, having a large deal of pride, he confronted the man that called Father and said, well, I'll tell you what. So why not show you how to bake a loaf of bread? He said, you'll show me how to make a loaf of bread. He says, we'll bake a loaf of bread, each of us, and we'll see who knows how to cook. So it became a duel on a great heart. This is the, this is the image of the <laughs> Father says, you're the man for the job, and explains the whole kingdom to him, and he discovers a world that he never knew existed before, that, which he fits into perfectly and becomes the cook for the world below.
today we're going to write an episode about. Uh, Pascal went to college uh, but, uh, during the 60s and uh, dropped out because what happened to his brother. Uh, these are things that writers came up with. I didn't come up with. Uh, Pascal, as you all know, was born there, so he has an affinity uh, to living down there. Well, uh, some of the things I, I sometimes take umbrage in, in the fan magazines when I read is, I am the same age as Vincent. <laughs> I have less hair than he does, but, uh, <laughs> but um, and basically the other things I can tell you, uh, I think you probably already know, is the relationships that I have with the people that were never spelled out. Uh, uh, William and Pascal tend to be on opposite sides of political debates. Uh, thank God for William, otherwise everything would be too nice down there. Uh, uh, Pascal uh, feels a sort of um, uh, an older brother relationship with Mouse. A lot of the times that David and I would uh, would be relating, lots of times on camera, which the editors didn't have enough time to put into, about a sort of, um, I mean, certainly Vincent is your is your patron saint and your and your father figure, but uh, there were times when we have an affinity because we're interested in the same things. Uh, Pascal has a has probably the best knowledge of all the tunnels, despite what Vincent says. At least that's the way they originally wrote it. Uh, sort of like, uh, Vincent became sort of Superman on the show. He, he did everything, uh, which is fun. Um, and uh, basically, I mean, there are little things here and there. Now I'm not quite sure what the writers and I came up with and what the fanzines have come up with. I'm not, it's all melted together. And, Uh, because of uh, his father, Pascal Sr., uh, and father, and Paracelsus, uh, all started the community down there. And uh, Pascal Sr. taught uh, Pascal how to, uh, how for, for a um, continuity, for a dedication to the community. And that's what kept him down there. I also feel, uh, originally, um, when I got cast, I sort of, I sort of thought of Pascal's a little like Mouse, but then Mouse came in the next episode. Now I can't do that now. Uh, but he he had he had some social problems as far as communicating with people, and one I, he loves being alone in the in the pipe chambers, and uh, he loves uh, the music of the pipes, um, and probably finds that a lot more comfortable than dealing with people. So he's sort of a social outcast in a small way. But his responsibilities uh, require him to, to deal with people. Yeah. Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> uh, when when you're a character like I am, you rarely get the girl. Um, um, no, not as far as I know. The, the romance, uh, even for for I think uh, Mouse and uh, Jamie. The romance was pretty much limited, as it should be, to Vincent and Catherine. That was the romantic story. Um, so I think no. I, 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 you know, God bless Kathy, who's writing stories about Ruthann. I mean, uh, <laughs> I get a girl at least in print. 